Tarpon Springs, Florida, the sponge capital of the world. And after visiting or maybe doing a little bit of researching, you're looking to move there. But wait, have you seen my other video of telling you the things that you should know? If you have, then continue watching this. If you haven't, check that out. This video is going to tell you the pros and the cons of moving to Tarpon Springs, Florida. If you don't know this face, my name is Marta Limonta and I am a realtor here in the Tarpon Springs, Tampa Bay area. And the whole purpose of this channel is to help you be a informed buyer and make the whole process of relocation just way easier. I moved from Michigan back in 2016 and at that time there was no information on YouTube, Google, online of a lot of these smaller cities. So that's the whole purpose of my channel. I get calls, texts, and emails from people looking to move here in other cities and I absolutely love it. So if you're looking to get started, make sure you do reach out to me at the info on the screen or check the description down below. So let's get right into it. Let's start off with the pros. I would say the first pro would be location because Tarpon Springs is around 45 minutes to an hour to Tampa. You have malls, restaurant, things to do, you know, the fun stuff in Tampa. Another great place that it's pretty much the same distance to is St. Petersburg, Florida. If you don't know about St. Pete, there's other videos on my channel here that talk about it and you will never get bored of things to do. If you want more places to check out that are just a short drive away, you also have Clearwater, Florida. Clearwater, Florida is closer than Tampa and St. Pete, and it has a world famous beach. The food is great, the people are great, and it's just the beach town vibe. It's one of my favorite places. Again, there's other videos on my channel if you wanna know more about Clearwater and all these other cities. Another pro for Tarpon Springs, Florida would be the culture. You get to have Greek cuisine, Greek traditions, the culture in Florida. How cool is that? There's people that travel all over the world to get the experiences that you can have here in Tarpon Springs. It's such a cool thing that if you go to any other towns, any other cities in Florida, it's completely different completely different vibe you have that small town vibe everybody knows everybody and it's just very homey people are very nice very friendly the small businesses they all support and help each other it's really nice to see this type of interaction in person and in Florida this next pro is kind of ties into the first two things I said but things to do you can go, there's a lot of parks in Tarpon Springs that you can go and check out. There's a lot of trails if you like running, biking. The sunsets are absolutely beautiful at the parks. If you want to check out the Tarpon Springs Sponge Dogs at nighttime or even daytime, there's so many different businesses and really cool things to do and cool pictures that you can take there. They also do a lot of events. I always go to the um, the Latin nights. I always love to go to the Latin nights that they have once a year. Everybody, all the businesses, they get the tables out in the street. They close down the street. They have live music. They got some salsa, bachata, food, drinks. Oh, it's so fun. I really like that because there's just so much fun things that you can do uh, right here in Tarpon Springs without having to go to Tampa or St. Pete. But if you did want it to go to Tampa or St. Pete for more fun, again, the drive is really not that bad. Anywhere from 45 to an hour, which in Florida, everything is around an hour away. So it's pretty standard. <laughs> okay, so we talked about the pros and I know what you're thinking. Martha, the pros sound great, but what about the cons? Tell me the real things that I should know to make sure that I wanna move forward with Tarpon Springs or if I should look elsewhere. I would say to start off with the cons is that just like living in a small town can have its pros, it also has its cons. 
because it is a small town compared to Tampa and all the other places that we usually would consider, there's less job opportunities, you know, less things to do instead of, you know, a big city like Tampa. And sometimes it can be a little boring and quiet, but that's really what it is when you are in a small town. It's If you're used to the big cities and you move to a small town, it's usually not the right move for you if that's what you like, if you like the big city life. But if you're looking to get out of that hustle and bustle and all that, you know, craziness, then a small town would work for you. So I would say the con is that with a small town, you get a small town life, you get a small town vibe, and it's not for everybody. The next one is something that you're going to deal with pretty much in any place in Florida, which is flooding. Because Tarpon Springs is right by the Gulf of Mexico, there's a lot of places that do flood. If you buy a home, you will most likely have to have flood insurance. So if that's something that you don't want to deal with, Tarpon Springs might not be the right place for you. But also, a lot of places in Florida require flood insurance, unless you're in flood zone X. So make sure you do your research in terms of if the homes that you're looking at are in a flood zone or not, because that is a little bit of extra money every year, every month. And lastly for con, again, this one applies to all of Florida, but hurricanes. Hurricane season comes every year. Sometimes it's worse than others, but when you live by the water, it's always a concern to make sure that your property has all the right insurance policies, everything's up to date, and that you try to be as covered as possible in case something were ever to happen. But again, that's just Florida for you. You're always gonna have those types of concerns when you are looking to move over here to Florida. So what did you think? Would you deal with these pros and cons? Is this something that you can handle or is this a complete turn off and you do not want to deal with these at all? What other cities should I talk about in my next videos? Go in the comment section down below. And as always, I am here to help you make the relocation process way easier. So please make sure you do reach out to me so that I can get you started with your relocation journey. I would love to hear from you. Give me a call, text, email, whatever's easier. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. And as always, check out the other cities and other videos on my channel so that we can figure out where you're moving to in Florida. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.